One of my supporters said the opposite of Donald Trump is an Asian man who likes math. And so that has been something of a rallying cry for me in the campaign. Hello, I'm Andrew Yang. I'm running for president in 2020 as a Democrat. I'm a serial entrepreneur. I started an organization called Venture for America that helped create thousands of jobs in Detroit, New Orleans, Baltimore, St. Louis, and other cities around the country. And during that time, I came to realize that technology is pushing our economy in a direction where more and more people are going to be out of work. We were automating away many more jobs than we were creating, and that we needed to wake people up. I would never be running if Donald Trump hadn't won the election of 2016. The bell really went off where I was like, I'm gonna run for president when I was doing research about what I thought helped Donald Trump win, which is that we'd automated away 4 million manufacturing jobs in Michigan, Ohio. Indiana's lost 5,000 jobs, that's not good. All the swing states he needed to win and did win. Thank you to Ohio. Someone needs to make this case to the American people that it's not immigrants, it's technology. And when I realized no one else was going to do it, then that's when I decided to run. Universal basic income is a policy where every member of a society, in this case, every American citizen, gets enough money to meet his or her basic needs. So in my plan, the Freedom Dividend, every American adult starting at age 18 would receive $1,000 a month, free and clear, to do whatever you want. We love the characterization of us as a long shot because one, it shows where we've started, and two, uh, it shows how much we're going to shock the world as we continue to grow. I think the reason why the campaign's growing all the time is because people see me as solutions oriented. I'm not a futurist, I'm a presentist. It's just that so many other politicians are stuck in the past that I seem like I'm somehow pushing an agenda that's not commensurate to 2019 or 2020, but it's 2019 and 2020. I mean, artificial intelligence is real. Self-driving cars and trucks are gonna be on our, they're on our roads right now. We need to wake up. And the things I'm recommending are not uh, pie in the sky or utopian at all. They're actually things we should have done years ago. Mm -hmm.